Hello guys, welcome to Currency Pairs and Pips video. The way to determine profit or loss in your trade. Without wasting any time, let's go to it. Base and code currencies. Let's use GBPUSD as our example. How do we call the pairs, the currencies in a pair? The first currency that appears in a pair, we call it a base currency. The second currency that appears in a pair, we call it a code currency. What does that mean? This means if I anticipate that GBP will, go, will gain strength or will go up, it means that I will have to buy GBP at the same time I'm selling USD. And if I say GBP will lose strength and I need to make money out of it, it means that I will have to buy USD by selling GBP. Please hope that makes sense, guys. Let's move on. What is a PIP? Percentage in point. Percentage in point is the smallest price change, guys from two pairs. This represents a profit or a loss in your trade. How do we determine the PIP? How do we determine PIPs? Currencies excluding JPY, we determine a PIP from the fourth decimal place, like you see. And currencies including JPY pairs, we determine a PIP from the second decimal place. Also, commodities like gold, oil, gas, and so on. Let's talk about the two. Why in these currencies do we have to determine our PIP from fourth decimal place and this one from the second decimal place? This is simply because let's use a currency that exclude that exclude. JPY. Let's use GBPUSD, for example. If I need to buy one great British pound, if I need to buy one pound with dollars, I will have to spend one dollar, maybe one dollar twenty cent, one comma something, one dollar, but I will have to spend one dollar. The unit part of it, I will have to spend one dollar. But let's say I want to buy a dollar at this point with yens. At this point, one dollar worth 120 something yens. It means that I will have to spend 100 yens in order to buy one dollar. Simple math, the primary school level. Let's use place values. This means this will be your unit. Hence, we have to calculate it from the fourth decimal place. Tens. If I needed $10 to buy one pound, we, we would have calculated, we would calculate from a PIP from third decimal place. So with yens, I need 100 of yens in order to buy one dollar. Is the reason why we move from four decimal place to two decimal place. This will be your unit, your tens, and your hundred. I hope this makes sense. Let me not confuse you further. You can even pause, rewind, and understand this because it's about to get deep. Let's try to make sense from this chart. This is Euro JPY chart. Remember how to read a chart? Euro JPY, Euro JPY. Then let's see. At this point and this time, One euro, if I needed one euro, I had to pay 126 yen, comma, 06 in order for me to buy one euro. I needed that much. Forget about the third decimal place. This we call it a fractional pip or a pipette. 
is the tenth of a peep. But from, you know, using this currency pair, we calculate our peeps or we determine our peeps from the second decimal place. Right? At this point, I had to pay, I had to pay this much. I had to pay 126,8 yens or 9 if we round it off. And then, euro gained value. Remember when we talked about currency pairs? Euro gained value. So, I'm at this point now. If I need to buy one euro, I, now I have to pay how much? I have to pay 126 yens, maybe uh, comma, comma 4, 9, or 5, or comma 5. Right? The movement of the pips. Then you say 15 subtract 8. That means we moved 42 pips. Right? Let's calculate the pip value now. How to calculate pips? We are using GBPUSD as our example. Let's say I have to buy now. I anticipate that the market will go up. I'm buying GBP USD at this price. Remember, this is one pip. This is a this this is where we this is three pips. This is where we calculate pips, man. I mean to say. Then I buy GBP USD at this price and it moves from this price to that price. What is the difference? The difference from this to that is one pip. It means that I made one pip. How do we calculate pips in major pairs? Major pairs like GBPUSD. I'm at this price. Then I made one pip. Meaning I moved from 2133 to 2134. I made one pip. How do I represent that pip? It means from that I made, from that the difference one from these two prices. The difference is 0, 0,00. Zero, 01 that is one pip then what is the pip value because at this point i was using one pound what is the pip value i made i made a money yes but i was using one pound what is the pip value now using one pound the pip value now it means that i made with one pip move i made how much i made zero comma zero 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 eight Two, four, because I took one pip divided by the price. How much do I need in order for me to buy this amount? Right? Then this is the this is not appealing as making money. Then how do we make money? Now I need to buy. I'm coming back here. I need to buy one hundred thousand pounds worth of pounds worth of gbp usd 100000 pounds worth of gbp usd at this price remember we are still using that price right now if remember at first i was using 1 pound is the reason why i made this much now i'm using how much now i'm using 100000 pounds then how do i calculate that with one pip move it means that uh, I, I will say Pip value, the one that I, I gain, because if I'm using one pound, I will gain this much. Then now, the, the amount that I will gain with one, then I multiply with one pound, then I multiply it with 100,000 pounds. This is the pip value. Then this is the amount that I'm using to buy one pip. It means if the market goes my way, I will make how much? With 100,000 pounds, one pip move, I will make 8 pound 24 cent. Or you can just call that $10 if you convert it back to dollars. Let's say you gain 10 pips from this price with this amount, you gained how much? You gained 10 pips. The price move from this to 1,2143 now. The difference between the two is 10, right? 
it means that I know the 100,000 pound worth of this pay, meaning pay pip, is how much? Is 8 pounds. Then if it moves 10 pounds, I will have to multiply this amount with by 10. Then I will make 82 pound 42 cents. I hope this makes sense, guys. Let me try and summarize this in the simplest way, the way I think it will make sense. Back to primary, primary school level. How did I arrive to £8.24? This was £1. Remember, when we multiply, if I add £100, if I have to multiply it by with £100, I'll have to use 100000 I mean £100,000. This means I will multiply it with £100,000 like I did here. Then we move to the right. And if we divide, move to the left. So, if I move, let's take this as units. If I have to move £10, it was going to be here. £100, it was going to be here. £1,000, it was going to be $0.08. Cents. £10,000, it was going to be $0.80. Cents. Or 0, comma, you can say... 0, 0,2 euros, then 100,000 pounds, not euros, I mean pounds, 100,000 pounds, then it moved from this place to this, from this point to 8,242 pounds is the, is the reason why we, go, we, why we got this amount. Please do the same with the pairs that, with Japanese yen, pairs that with the pairs that consist of jpy remember you will have to use two decimal place it's not going to be one comma two four it will be that hundred comma two derived to two decimal place do the same with it then you will have to use the amount that you will have to buy you will have to use buying that pair then it will give you the amount of pip that you'll get but the most important part here is to gain the pip value after you after you have gained the pip value then you can multiply it with the amount that you have in your account i know that you are not going to have hundred thousand pounds but the power of leverage that's where it's going to come you are going to, even with hundred pounds in order for you to be in, at this level, to have £100,000, you will see when we go to leverage video. I hope this made sense to you. And if it did not, please repeat it and go through it step by step. Calculate it yourself until it do. Then let's move on to leverage video.